hey guys welcome back to my channel this video is all about how to cut and sew a wrap top this is going to be a crop top because that is what my sister requested for i'm using freehand this time around no pattern drafting so i'll first of all come here and do mark out my upper bust length for her is seven inches i'll mark my bust length which is 12 then i'll mark my waist length for her this is a crop top so her waist is 18 sewing allowance 20 then i'll stop i'll use 22 and a half i'll replicate what i just did here here and then 22 and a half i'll go ahead and join it together shoulder is 16 i'll add one inch making it nine for sewing allowance then i also do comma mark it here at the chest line at this same chest line i'm going to measure out my my round bust my round bust is 46 but i'm using 48 because it's a wrap top i don't want it to be like tight so 48 divided by 2 is going to give you 12 12 i'll mark the 12 inches there then so in other ones is 2 inches i'm going to mark it here which is what i use in doing my folding the biggest part of her body is the brown bust. That is what I use in doing my folding plus two inches sewing allowance. So at the bust here, I also do the same. 48 divided by four is 12 plus two, 14. My round waist is 36 divided by four is nine. I'll go ahead and add my sewing allowance. See that I did not add any waist that, yes. I'll go ahead and add my sewing allowance, which is two inches. And then I'll connect this together all the sewing allowance together connect my armhole together at the shoulder to the chest line i'll get the middle which is here then from here i'll use free hand and get my round armhole then at this point i'll come and mark my neck depth and what i'm going to use for my neck depth is three inches in and one and a half inches down then I'll come down here by one inch to get my shoulder slope. And then I'll connect the neck line here to the shoulder slope or slant. Now I've gotten this, I'll go ahead and cut out this pattern. So I'm going ahead now, this is the back pattern, and place it this way to cut out another pattern. So you place this together, you place this together and then cut out the neckline. And then you cut out the shoulder slant. Now we have done this, I'll remove this, open up this clothes this way. Remember we added our sewing allowance at this point. So I'm going to first of all remove these two inches I've added for the sewing allowance. Then from here, which is 21, I'll come up by four inches and I'll mark it here, which is seven at this point, 17. Then from the neckline here, this neckline that we've done here, I will now connect it down to this place. So this is what it's going to look like. The wrap top. Now, you see the way my own went, I used ruler to cut it this way if you want yours to be wider like to give more cleavage you can mark yours to go this way if you want it to give more cleavage but me i like to manipulate my own how i want my you know it's a wrap top i can tie it however i want so i like to make it to be conservative so that if i want to make it to be scandalous or show more cleavage i can do it myself so i'll go ahead and cut this first one that i i did here I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll go ahead and cut this side. I've cut it out. I'll indicate this is my back and this is my back so that I will know my front. So this is my front and then this is my back. So we want to cut our trendy sleeve now and to do that, you're going to use a round armhole. My round armhole is 24 divided by 2 is 12 inches. So I went ahead and used that and I marked it here. So at this edge here, I'm going to come down by 3 inches. Then at this point, I'm going to go in by 5 inches. 
then i will just use free hand and connect this to this place you get so we're going to go ahead and mark out our full length our full length because um our shoulder is 16 we will divide it by 2 8 and we'll move our sewing allowance which is 050 making it 7.5 so i'll keep my tape at 7.5 and then my full length with sewing allowance is 25 so i'll mark it here i'll go ahead and chuck a straight line to get what i want then i'm just going to cut this out then i'll come here and indicate my center so i'll know where my center like the i'll notch my center where it's going to meet at the joining at the sleeve then i also cut out this part now that i've cut it out i will open up here so from the thumbnail you can see that there is a some sort of ruching at this point so i want to add it to it i will now take my tape and check here from here to here is 17. i will also remove my sewing allowance that is two inches so i'm working with 16 inches so i'll now come here and get my center to be eight that if you watch my center is not that like it's not equal from the end beginning of the fabric so i want to bring it down towards like 12 so i'll put it here no i think this four this four inches is too small let's use like seven inches i think seven inches is better let's use seven inches then I'll mark the seven inches. Four, four inches is too small, considering. Then once I've done that, I'll put my pin at these seven inches here. So I'll indicate it at the back here. Then I'll take my this one this way, so I can get it here. Then when I turn it to the front, to the other side, I can see this mark here and know where to stop. This is how you're going to get it. So when I've gotten it, when I open up this sleeve. This from here to here is where you are going to run that gather. Then you also, of course, I'm also going to put elastic inside here to gather this to become like a round sleeve. Then you gather here. You see, I don't know if you can see how it's looking, but you can't really see it yet. So I'll repeat the same thing. You can see that we have two sleeves here, nothing is here. I'll repeat the same thing for this sleeve. I'll remember that our, our wrap top we let four inches, so our band is definitely going to be also four inches. So I'll come and measure out. This is meant to be. This is exactly eight inches. So I'll measure it out. This is for the both bands. This is for the both bands. So this is my band. You are the one that will indicate how long you want your bands to be. But let me measure mine. Mine is forty-eight inches, including sewing allowance. So this is it. Then I'll go ahead and split it open. This is my back pattern. You place it here. Then I will take my my wrap top. You can see this part. I will place it here, and then I will sew here by on two inches, and then I will join the shoulder side by 050. Then I will place this one as well, and then I will join here and also join the sides. Once I'm done doing that, I will now take my bias, this bias, and use my pipe the mouth of this part pipe it all the way i also pipe the mouth here and once i'm pipe done piping the mouth i will now get my my this one and join it so guys at this point i'm done joining the sides and also sewing the down part so now i'm trying to like mark out my round armhole so i had to pin the outfit together you know to get my round armhole and to get that my round armhole is 24 so i'll make sure that this curve that is here i calculate and make sure that what i get there is 12 so that it fits properly with the sleeves so guys at this point i'll go ahead and cut off about six inches or even four inches it depends on how it doesn't matter really but when you cut this off it's going to make your outfit to last or to sit a lot properly then at this point you see me turning my my band and ironing it and once i'm done i am going to put the place i cut out that part that we've just cut out now 
i'm going to insert it into the band and sew it together so this is the sleeve also i've, I've already gone ahead to do the ruching so you can see how it has this elastic feeling yeah and this i used the i used the smoking thread to do this part of this um ruching then for the end of the sleeve i use the normal white elastic that we all know yeah that's what i use so i'll go ahead and fix the sleeve to the crop top and when i'm done fixing the sleeve to the crop top i also fix the band and that's it